Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 29 of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we're still in this desert prison, so hopefully we can get out of there really soon and find Barrett. Those guys only tell lies. Only lies. Not one of them will tell you the truth. Just talk with them a couple times and you'll get sick of them. This place is heaven. This place is heaven. This place is heaven! Man with a gun on his arm? Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Wait, why did you talk like four times? Oh, never mind. You want to see the boss? Go southwest and you'll meet him. Uh, if there's absolute liars, then I guess I'm not supposed to go southwest to meet him. The elevator will be take take you to the top, but you got to be picked as a chokeable racer first. Okay, well, I guess hopefully we can make that happen. First, let's check inside this house. Uh, is it safe to be here? Oh, yeah, it is. Didn't I tell you not to come here? J just hold on for a second. We just want to talk. You'll understand if you just hear us out. Whoa, who the hell are you? Didn't want none of you to get involved. Hey, that's Cloud's line. It's too dangerous. I can't let you get involved. Blah, blah, blah. Wow, Ares, that's a bit rude. Yeah, we're already involved in this. We saw you and hurried here. So come on, Barrett. Just tell us what's going on. You guys. I heard that the murders at the battle arena were done by a man with a gun arm. Was that you? There's another. Another man that got a gun grafted into one of his arms. It was four years ago. I remember. I was on my way home from visiting a Mako reactor being built. Barrett! Dine! Come quick! The village is being attacked! It's Shinra soldiers! What? Can you just take the stairs? They're right there. Oh, that was when the explosion happened. And then Shinra set the place on fire, believing they were rebels. What the hell happened? Well, there's fire for one thing. Where looks like he got the taco shits or something. Hey, Barrett! It's not over yet. Everyone's waiting. Let's go back to the village. Barrett! Dine! Protect the village! Oh, he didn't get far. Huh! Old man! Oh, look at him dance. Come on, Barrett! We gotta hurry! Grr! Don't their guns ever, like, reload or anything? How many times do they shoot? Bear, you stay here. Yeah, ha, ha You can shoot all day and never hit them with aim like that. Sure! Yeah, stop playing around. And cover me. Watch out! Dine! Hang on! Listen to me. You're coming back to the village, here? Yeah. I ain't letting go. You're coming back. Everyone's waiting for you. Eleanor and Marlene, they all waiting on us. And Dinefell. But did he die? From then on, I couldn't use my right arm no more. I was depressed for a while. But then I threw away my artificial arm and got this gun grafted in. Got a new right arm to get revenge on the Shinra, who took everything away. Back then, I heard the docs say there was another man who got the same operation as me. But his was the left arm. That was like typical lefties. But 
Dine's energy injury was the same as yours, right? Yeah, that's right. He was deceived by the Shinra too. He'll probably join us to fight against the Shinra. Wouldn't bet on it. I gotta apologize to Dine before I can rest in peace. And that's why I gotta go alone. Do whatever you want. Is that what you want to hear? Well, I can't let you do it. We need your help to save the planet. Barrett, this isn't the end. Weren't you gonna save the planet? Shit! Tifa, you ought to know by now. That's alright. I'm not so different from you. That's easier to understand. It's you, Barrett. So there it is, Barrett. So I guess it'll be Barrett, me, and... Um, uh, we'll take... I guess we'll take Tifa. Oh, and I guess I can go over here if I want to, like, uh, change party members. Well, in that's the case, I better, like, uh, get this material all arranged again. Take it all off Eris and Kate Sith. There we go, that's better. Um, should go restore all on you. And see. No, I don't think we're gonna go with enemy skill. I think we'll go with sense for you. And then we'll go with transform. Give manipulate a try, I suppose. Because, you know, you woman. <laughs> Not, not, not cover. How about Chocobo Lure? You know what? Instead of Chocobo Lure, why don't we go with Long Range? I think that'd be better for us. Also, before I put in Barrett's new materia, I'm gonna change his weapon to the... W Machine Gun. Has double growth, so that's actually pretty good. And we'll give you the Protect Vest. So you have a little bit more vitality. I think we should go with Seal. I think we're gonna change things around. I don't think I'm gonna have Poison on Cloud anymore. Let's try Earth. I'm gonna give Barret Poison for a change. Let him cover. And you can use Fire All. And then Enemy Skill. I don't think we're gonna have anybody steal. Probably won't be necessary. Actually, if I'm gonna have anyone steal, I should be Tifa. So I think we're good for now. Guess we should go in this building. Alright, more of those two-faced enemies. They're nothing new. We've already fought them before. So because it's a long-range weapon, Barrett can stay in the back row and still be able to do the same amount of damage. Whoa, okay, these guys can self-destruct. I figured Cloud will get his limit, limit break ready. Oh my god. So, depending on when you hit them, they can blow up? Is that how it goes? Maybe I should hit them with magic first. Because Cloud almost died. Well, technically, knocked out. You don't actually die in this game. Nobody dies in this game. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Maybe Cure 2 was not that necessary. Oh, hey, what's up? A rookie! Then you gotta buy something. Yep, that's the rule here. That seems like a very shitty rule, if you ask me. I guess I could take, like, one more tent. A few more potions will be good as well. No, no, I didn't think I was actually gonna approach you from here. Can't talk to this other person? Really? Okay. Guess we can't go that way, alright. Well, I guess I can go around. Yeah, maybe I do have to go southwest. Or maybe in this building. 
Not interested yet. What's going here? Can you get under the tires? Oh, you can actually sleep here for free. Okay. Hmm. Then maybe that cure too was a bit of a waste. Hey, hey, fine. You knew? And go and pay your respects to Mr. Coates. <laughs> Mr. Coates? What's his cousin named? Dr. Jackets? Never seen your face around here before. Going up? Uh, yeah, let's go up. You don't seem to understand how things work down here. This is the gold saucer's garbage jump. And that makes a lot all of your scrubs. The only way to get back up there is to win the chocobo race. But it's not as easy as you rookies think. Of course, if you got the boss's permission, it'd be a different story. But you'll never get that! Ha 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 ha! Screw you, fine. I don't want to enter your damn chocobo race. So we gotta find out what we need to do next. Well, at least we found Barrett, so maybe we can go north after all. I just realized I have hardly any offensive magic on Tifa. Should probably fix that. If anything, get rid of those bandits first. The two faces are no big deal if you whittle them down enough. Eh, you missed. I would have laughed if it said he was still able to steal something. I'm like, how does that work? You never touched me, so how could you just steal an item from me? Like, how are we doing in terms of, like, offensive magic anyway? Poison, fire... You know what, let's take, take manipulate off and give you fire as well. I think that'll be better. Well, I can't get permission. Uh, who's the boss? You don't even know that? Oh, man. Well, then fine. Don't tell me. So I guess I'm not taking that elevator anytime soon. We should probably go back north. I'd say we should be allowed to now. Now that we got Barrett. Whoa, what happened to you? This one's been shot too. I guess we can now go this way. Mm, does it make any difference what path you take? I guess if you took that one, you're not going to get across. Oh, here's a new enemy. What is this? A death claw. Oh, they can use magic barrier. That's actually pretty cool. How do you feel about fire? Okay, I think Barrett's the one with the uh, enemy skill on. Unfortunately, he can't move. Oh, okay, now he can. I think this uh, enemy also has an enemy skill. I think it's called Laser. You know, if you can actually hit Barrett with it. That's not really too much to ask, is it? Oh, that's some good tea. Moroccan mint. <laughs> Though it's just came from a bag. All right, so someone in the comments, like a few videos back, was saying that apparently I missed an enemy skill materia over in Junon. Once I get the chance to go back there, I'll go and get it. But for now, I mean, we're just gonna have to like make do with what we have. So maybe instead of like trying to learn laser right now, which is something you can do, by the way. 
Maybe I should just wait until I get that other materia. Wow, I got three yes! Hm, sucks to be you, Deathclaw. Your barrier means jack shit to me. So that was a nice bit of damage. Man! Boss was really in a bad mood today. Or was it one of his better days? I don't know. Guess I can go here? Guess we're gonna be wandering the desert for a little while. Unless we go over here. Uh, hi. Dine! Is that you? Now that's a voice that I haven't heard in years. A voice I'll never forget. I always hoped I'd be able to see you again someday. I knew you were alive somewhere. We had the same operation. Listen, Dine, I want to... Whoa, okay. I can hear her voice. What's that? Huh? It's Eleanor's voice, begging me not to hate your rotten guts. That's why I never hunted you down. I know I was stupid. I'm not asking you to forgive me. But what are you doing in a place like this? Why I want to kill people who ain't even involved? Why? Why? The hell do you care? You think the dead understand why? Is hearing Shinra's excuses going to make people in Corel understand anything? I don't care about reasons. All they give us is artillery and stupid excuses. What's left is a world of despair and emptiness. You still want to hear why? Alright, I'll tell ya. Because I want to destroy everything. The people in this city. The city itself. The whole world! I got nothing left in this world. Corel, Eleanor, Marlene. Dine! Marlene. Marlene's still alive! I went back into town. I thought she was gone for sure. I wandered around town for a while. That's when I found her. Found Marlene. She's in Midgar. Let's go see her together, alright? Uh, dude, how do we even get back into Midgar? So... She's still alive? Alright, Barrett. Then I guess you and me gotta fight. What?! Eleanor is all by herself. I gotta take Marlene to her. Die! Are you crazy? Marlene wants to see her mom, don't she? No, I think she wants to live! Stop dying! I can't die yet! Oh yeah? Well, my life's been over ever since then. Stop it! I don't want to fight you! Barrett! Cloud! You stay the hell out of it! This is my problem! Oh, I, I gotta do this by myself then. Alright, so I guess I gotta fight Dime by myself and he's got a nasty bit of skills. I think I'm gonna put him to sleep. Hopefully that'll work. It did work! Okay, that'll buy me some time. So I don't want to use any physical attacks so that'll just wake him back up again. I guess I can always just poison him, too. Thank God it's not like Pokemon, where you can only have, like, one status element at a time. But, of course, Barrett's magic stat kind of sucks. Look at him, he's just, like, standing up doing this. This is hilarious. Oh, hang on a second. Okay, I've returned my apologies there. I mean, sometimes you don't really get a chance to record all the time, so I had to, like, close out the game. 
but at least I managed to get us back to where we left off. So it's not like we lost any progress. You know, because of this continuous poison damage, I can practically just sit here and do absolutely nothing, and I would still win. It would take longer, though, so I'm better off just casting Bio whenever I get the chance. I don't really think I could manipulate this guy either, so I'm not even going to try. I'll just keep casting Bio, because that's why I put it there. If I hit him with my gun, I'm just going to wake him up. Well, I guess in retrospect, he's not that hard, so maybe I should just wake him up. He'll still be poisoned. He's not even going to do that much damage. I mean, look at that. That's just Yarmir Yager numbers right there. Barrett's got a lot of HP. And I'm doing more damage with my attacks than I am with Bio, so there you go. There's another reason to go this route. S-Mine? You know, like the military version of S-Club 7? <laughs> what would S-Mine even sing about, anyway? That's a parody of S-Club 7 songs. Do we even know any more S-Club 7 songs? Molotov Cocktail? Okay, this guy's getting annoying if he's attacking more than once. But I should have my limit break ready soon enough. Urgh! I got on one knee and that's why the poison wears off. So, that was an easy win right there. We got a silver armlet for it. Somehow he's still standing despite all this damage. Oh, it gets back on his knee again. Back! You just want to die in peace or something, or...? I didn't just lose an arm back then. I lost something irreplaceable. I don't know where it went wrong. Dine. I don't know either, man. Is this the only way we can resolve this? I told you. I... I want to destroy everything. Everything. This crazy world. Even me. And what about Marlene? What's going to happen to her? Think about it, Barrett. How old was Marlene back then? Even if I did go see her, she wouldn't even know me. And what's more, Barrett? My hands are too stained to carry her anymore. And eh, not to mention one of them is actually a gun. Barrett. Give that pendant to Marlene. It was Eleanor's. My wife's a memento. Your wife has a memento now? Alright. So, Marlene's already four. It's six and a half! You know, a little Matilda reference. I can't believe I actually still remember that movie. Barrett, don't you, don't you ever make her cry. Dine? Dine! Dine! Nyeh! <laughs> I'm guessing he's dead now. Dine. Me and you were the same. My hands ain't very any cleaner. I shouldn't carry Marlene either. Arr! We should leave now. You want something? I want to go up. Like I told you before, you gotta get the boss's permission, then win the chocobo. Don's got his reasons he can't speak. Yeah, it's something like dead. So, I got this instead. Yeah, bull! I want to go up. Right. Did you kill Dine? No, he slowly died himself. You must have. Will you never be holding that thing? So Dine's dead. Maybe now, the place will calm down a little. Dine didn't care who anyone was. The hell do you know? 
R right I, I mean, no, no, I don't know anything. S sorry. Then, will you get us out of here? Huh? Oh man, you guys are mistaken. I already told you. There's only one way to get out of here. That's to win the Chocobo race, and that's held up there, in the Gold Saucer. And, only one racer can go up at a time. Say what? No! Really, even if you threaten me. A rule's a rule. I can't change it. If I do, the whole system down here will get messed up. And I can't do that. This place is already messed up. Okay, okay. I'll let one go up there. After that, he's gotta deal with Dio. Alright then. Cloud, you go. We'll wait down here. Hurry up and win that Chocobo race and get us out of here. Okay. Right, Cloud. We'll be waiting and rooting for you. I guess I'll have to fight then. Have you decided? All you need now is a manager. To register and get a Chocobo. Hi, I happen to hear your story. Esther? Oh, that's a girl. I'll be your manager. Well, I have nothing against it, but... This is Esther. She may look kind of funny. Wow, that's a bit offensive there, just because she's wearing, like, red shoes. But there's no better manager in the races. That's so rude! Yeah, well, nice to meet you, Cloud. Alright then, Cloud. I'll send you up the elevator. Esther will fill you in on the details. Hmm, so that's what happened. I'll talk to Dio directly. You just concentrate on the race. Oh yeah, getting back to the other thing. There are many different types of chocobo jockeys. It's not only for criminals. Some people compete for the fame. Some people compete for the money. Some only for glory. And then there are people like you, which I guess is all three. Oh yeah, I'll teach you how to ride a chocobo. Alright. Um, first use assist to use either auto or manual. This lets you control the chocobo yourself, or lets it run on its own. But it's pretty hard to make the chocobo run the way you want it to. If the chocobo doesn't like you... Okay, why is that... Is that really... Oh no, that's just smudge on my monitor. I thought there was like an exclamation point instead of an L. It won't listen! So I guess I gotta get eight gym badges. I mean, then you're stuck! But, most of the chocobos I have are mellow, and you should be able to handle them. When you're riding, you switch to speed up, and cancel to slow down. Okay, so technically that would be square to speed up, and X to slow down, alright. But, if you go faster than the chocobo can handle, it will quickly lose its stamina. Use the directional button to move the chocobo left and right. Use OK to get a boost of speed, which is circle. This makes your stamina run out faster. Some chocobos are bad-tempered and can't pace themselves. They'll lose their stamina quickly. Those chocobos should be set on manual to slow them down. Finally, some advice for the restless. Once the first and second chocobo cross the goal line, push start to end the race. Okay. That's just like saying, like, you might as well give up. Oh, this music sounds so random. You know? She ain't. Hi, Joe. Hey, Esther. You're looking pretty as usual. Thanks. Let me introduce you, Cloud. This is Joe, one of the top chocobo jockeys. Nice to meet you, Cloud. If you're with Esther, then... Right, he's an up-and-coming jockey. He'd only be down there a day, and already he made it up here. What? Oh. I see. So, why did you get put down? Sorry, we're not supposed to ask about the past here. Oh, you did anyway. Pretty interesting. I have a feeling that we'll meet again. Then, until we meet again, Cloud. Are you guys playing cards or something? I'm gonna check on the Chocobo. You just wait here for a while. Okay. Also, before we go anywhere, make sure you get the Ramu Materia. Because I hear that if you if you leave that behind, you're not going to get it again. I got nothing to say. 
Okay, you don't have anything to say either. Don't get cocky! Skills don't matter once you get in the race. The race will start in a few moments. Will the jockeys for the next race please proceed to the paddock? I repeat. Which I guess it's over here? Oh. I guess we only gotta go this way. I guess I'll have to wait for them to go through? Alright. Can I... I can't interact with those posters. Uh, I'm trying to go. Cloud! What? I'm trying to go. Thanks for waiting. I registered you in the next race. This is a chocobo I prepared myself. He should do well. So, remember how to ride? Yeah, I got it. Then, good luck! Okay, we gotta speed up. Okay, we're not doing too bad. Stamina is... leaves a little to be desired. Do you have to hold square to go faster? I think you do. And then X to slow down. I think I should be able to get the hang of it now. I think we're gonna go manual for this. How many laps am I on? Oh god, this stuff is so disorienting. Did I get, like, last place or something? No, I got fifth. Okay, you're pretty much bound to, like, lose a couple races. Hmm. Can I not see that anymore? Oh, I had to press start. Too bad! That was a tough break. Let me find a better chocobo for you. Wait here for a while, okay? So, unfortunately, you pretty much have to keep waiting and keep trying... And then just hope to God you get a good chocobo. So this might actually take a while. Maybe I should like uh, go over the rules again just to be sure. And on the plus side, at least I got that remove materia. Why is there a computer monitor back there? Yes, yes, I know, Esther. Well, hopefully it's better than the last one. Okay, use the scissors to go to auto manual. I already know that. It's pretty hard to make the chocobo run away. Doesn't like you, won't listen, and you're stuck. Once you go to manual, blah blah blah. Okay, you switch to speed up. Do you have to hold it, or do you just have to press it once? Blah blah blah. There we go. All right. Yeah, I, I think we should be good. We'll stay on automatic this time. It's losing a bit of control sometimes. That's not making me happy. Okay, for some reason it feels like my chocobo locks up when it tries to, like, get right next to another one. Like, it doesn't turn as well as I'd like it to. If we're being honest with ourselves. But I think I should have like a good speed now. Oh my god, we're in first place. Don't lose this momentum now. That's it, we got this, we got this. Yeah, first place! Do you also win if you're in second? Congratulations! Now you're home free! Oh yeah, the owner told me to give this letter to you if you won. Boy, if you're reading this letter, then you must have won. I know you earned it. I heard about dying from Esther. Now that you won, I'm granting you and your friends a full pardon and setting you all free. And by way of apology, I have a little gift for you to use on your journey. Sorry I couldn't be there to tell you this in person, but I'm a very busy man. Sincerely, Dio. A gift? Eris, this is great! The assistant manager just stopped by and dropped off a buggy! Now it can go over deserts and rivers. 
No problem! Okay, Cloud. I'll be waiting outside. Hmm. The letter continues. P.S. I recently met Sephiroth. I'll bet he's pretty popular with boys your age. Why don't you get his autograph? He was heading towards Gangaga, south of the river. Sephiroth. I guess this is goodbye. Yeah. Well, if you ever get your own chocobo, come back again. I'll take care of your registration and everything. I'll see you again. Um, thanks, I guess. I'll stick with this party for now. Okay, press the OK button to get on, press the Cancel button to get off. Buggies can cross shallow rivers and deserts. You can even enter Castle del Sol and Junon by buggy by hitching a ride on the cargo ship. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, we're at, that's Golden Saucer right there. So you can take this river. Okay, we just got back to Costa del Sol this way. That's actually pretty cool. Also, I don't think you get into any... Oh, you do get into battles here. But it looks like you go further. If we're going to be honest with ourselves here. I don't think anyone has the enemy skill material on at all. So let's just get rid of this scumbag over here. Both of them, at least. And I think we're gonna head back to Junon. I think we should do that. I think you gotta take the buggy into inside Costa del Sol, if I recall. And the only reason I'm going this way is because I did forget something. What's the best way to get to, well, the boat? I think it's over here? Because I do want to go back. Thinking of being stowaways? You know what? I'll pay up. I was thinking about going back to Chunon anyway to get that enemy skill material that I missed. Does it take the buggy with you? I don't know. May not even need the buggy at this point. The reason why I'm going back is not only to get that enemy skill material that I missed, but also because we have manipulate, we can get other ma enemy skills normally. Like for instance, there's only maybe one or two that you can only get with manipulate. And I wanted to get the enemy skill material first so that we can get it on both of them at once. Because once you get a new enemy skill materia, you, the skills that you already have are not applied to it. You have to relearn them. It is inconvenient, I know. But it is what it is. If I remember correctly, I'm just trying to think where what building it was in. I don't know if it was this one. It wasn't. Alright. I know it was in a building that I was to before. And it was somewhere I could climb. Like there was a ladder, if I remember correctly. I don't think it was this building. It wasn't. Okay, so we'll just go back. I hate when the camera's like that. But oh well. Wasn't here either, but we made some progress, so I'll just do a little save. No, 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 I don't want to quit. I forgot that save is like at the second last one. I guess we can just put a save over here on, on both of these, actually. I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think it was over here either, but eh. Just wanted to check to be sure. Can't be too careful in the grand scheme of things. I think it was on the other side of the street. What are these guys doing there? They look like they're getting a little too comfortable. Was it over this way? Like maybe this area? it's over this way. Oh, okay. I, I think I have an idea. It was probably got to be one of these buildings. 
<laughs> Not getting involved over here, that's for sure. Oh, I got cats. Alright, I'm back. I actually did find the building, and I was right, there was a ladder. But we were in this building, and I didn't even go into the door on the first floor, because it was hidden by a soldier. This is it right here. So, we got ourselves our second enemy skill materia, so therefore, I am going to be busy getting those skills back. Yeah, it was this building right here. And I was in here. And I didn't even bother to check that part. Well, I'm an idiot. Alright, so I guess I'm going to stop the video right here, and in the next part, we're going to have to go back to previous areas just to get some enemy skills on this one as well. See ya, everybody. Thanks for watching.